confirmation that Kevin Gates is operating in a demonic spirit. This video is actually in hopes that he'll watch it so that he'll wake up, man, and come out of this deception. Man, the other day, I was just looking up videos on fasting. I was actually on a water fast on YouTube. I was just looking up more, you know, benefits of fasting physically, even though we do it for spiritual benefits, but God is all powerful, all knowing. He knew being an all knowing God that it would also benefit our, our flesh, which is a temple of the Holy Spirit. So um, I was watching this video and I seen Kevin Gates talking about fasting pop up and I'm like, okay, let me watch this. And it was a podcast and he literally understands fasting and how spiritual it is. You know, I know this from fasting that when you fast, you're accessing the spiritual realm. And and that's why the Bible says you must fast and pray. Because if you fast without prayer, you're susceptible to opening up doors. The more you get out of the flesh, the closer you get to the spiritual. You got to stay prayed up because you can get influenced or oppressed by demonic spirits if you're only fasting for bodily gain. And there's a lot of spiritual people who are not Christians that fast for spiritual gain on the other side. And I ain't talking about the good side, our side in Christ. I'm talking about the other side. And even before I came to Christ, when I was in the world, I fasted as well. I fasted for other reasons that were not good. So remember, the devil takes everything that God does and perverts it. So I want you guys to watch this video with me. I'm going to pull up the whole conversation. I, guys, I want you guys to watch it from the beginning to the end. Kevin Gates literally blasphemes the Holy Spirit. And it's like, it's so contradictory because he doesn't believe in Jesus being, you know, God and the Holy Spirit and all that. But then he believes in Islam, which is a perversion of Christianity. Literally, they took from the, the Torah and, and, the, and the New Testament and created their own little thing hundreds and hundreds of years after the Bible. You know, go study the Dead Sea scrolls. They found the Old and New Testament in caves using si scientific carbon-14 dating to prove the textual authenticity of the Bible. In this day and age, I don't even know how you trust in Islam. Real talk. So anyways, it's contradictory. So I want you guys to watch it from the beginning to the end. It's a five-minute video. Kevin Gates, if you watch this, I love you, my brother. I would love to pray for you. The power of God is real. I'm talking about you can cast devils out, heal the sick miraculously, see miracle signs and wonders that will point you to Christ, man, that you can't see in any other religion, not in voodoo, shamanism, Islam. I feel like Kevin Gates is dealing with confusion because he, he believes in so many different things. So I'm going to play this video. Y'all watch to the end. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Fasting is the cure for everything. Mm -hmm. When your body don't have nothing to eat, it's going to eat all your bad cells up because it go into fight or flight. That's true. Eat your bad cells, your body release hydrogen. And, you know, we breathe in oxygen. Sure. So I'll be wondering like, damn, I done went all day with God is all knowing. You're pissing. Like, right. why am I pissing? Yeah, yeah. We create our own water. Right. What's the fast? The sun's up to down? Is that what? That's what most people do from sun up to sun down. But I like to do it to where when I break my fast, it's just with liquids. Mm. I like that liquid diet. So what's, the, what's the longest you, you fast for? Like no food, just water, yeah, yep, like yep, liquids. Yep. Like 42 days. I did about three of them. 42 days? I hate what I'm about to say. I don't even want to say I don't hate it. We, we learn it. This, this, I'm allowed to say it. Nah, it's, 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 it's kind of deep. Yeah, go there, bro. Nah, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm going to just say this. When you fast, things really, you're not delusional when you fast. And things really get weird because you're not seeing into, you're seeing beyond the physical realm. You, you're seeing into the spiritual realm. That's true. Like, like, why are you protecting, why are you protecting like, uh, Going deep. Some of your experiences, yeah, like you know, like it's, cra it's crazy. Somebody there, I can cut you off, but it's like I'm. It's not that. Chill, I just my boy. I swear to God, bro. My boy last night he fasted. Now his first time doing it. And he telling me like I should try it, and I'm just listening to what bro talking about. It. Just, like I'm here double. Like it's just crazy, bro. So I want you to go into it's that. It's not that I'm afraid of it. It's just that I stay away from spiritual conversations because it's like you know, people. People take people try to destroy things that are sacred and beautiful sure. they don't and know. powerful. But how that look, but why does it matter? And again, he studies so many different practices and religions. That's how I was. I was in voodoo, shamanism. I was in Santeria. I was in Islam. I was in Buddhism. You know, Catholicism. I was in a whole bunch of different religions because I didn't know the truth. When you know the truth, when you know that this is it, you don't go trying to learn more other, other things. You see, I went and dabbled in all these things. And that's why a lot of you don't have to go do what I did. You can learn from not my testimony. Come to Christ. And when you come to Christ and you're born again and you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you don't want to seek anything else because you know in your spirit that this is what you've been looking for forever. Now that I'm in Christ, I'm not interested about anything else. I know what the truth is. But back when I was in the world and all these different spiritual witchcraft, new age, all these different things, I was always looking for something new because I was never fulfilled. And that's how Kevin Gates is. But he's right. You access the spirit realm. It gets real deep. The man did a 42 day fast on water twice. People do it all the time. I saw, I saw this one lady online. She did a hundred day water water fast super skinny like look unhealthy but what i'm saying is like there's people who do it outside of christianity they do it for physical health even spiritual but it's not the right way i'm telling you let's keep watching why does it matter you know what i'm saying so we out here that's what you're saying yeah yeah because like, 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 like you mean you mean you feel like 
it's more attention to you or no, it's just in general. I think just the in general fact that he's saying when you talk I, about I, stuff, like I was trying to be, I, I was trying to like kind of keep everybody kind of no. keep my wings playing around everybody. But if you want to, no, because like, when you talk about fasting, uh, I was playing for the Chicago Bears 2000, 2013. Listen to this fast. I did 21 days, and uh, um, Amazing. Joseph, uh, one of my mentors, he'll be a general manager one day in the NFL, and uh, he is like, yeah, I think you should go on a fast. But when you fast, I want you to journal, I want you to meditate, and I want you to um, I want you to pray, right? And so I did that. And one of the, I, had a, I, had a, I had an experience where my, my cousin, um, Denise, her second fight of cancer came back. And I'm, I'll never forget, I'm driving down the highway, going to practice. And I'm like, all right, what we're going to do, we're going to pray. But we're not, even, we're not even entertaining that. At all. It's fixed. Boom. So we pray. It's fixed. We pray. She called me back three days later. I went to the doctor. The doctor said they can't even find it. And I'm not Man. saying Alhamdulillah. You know what I'm saying? Alhamdulillah. But fasting, bro, like... You hear what he said? That's a Muslim term. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Man, this man right here with the dreads, I'm pretty sure he's talking about praying to Jesus. <laughs> if, if you got discernment, you could discern the same thing. He's talking about Christ. Man, yeah, some of you are going to be like, how do you know? Are you right? Get it. But more than likely, he's talking about it because he didn't say alhamdulillah, blah, 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 blah. no. It's about Jesus. If you pray to Jesus and you fast and you journal and you meditate on Christ, amen. You should be doing that during your fast. 100%. Meditate on the word of God. Get in your journal. Write down your dreams. You're going to dream a lot. You're in the spirit realm. You're out the flesh. That's why it says fasting and praying. When you really, fast. when fast. you pray and you meditate and you write down, like so much stuff comes up and so many things can happen, but you got to be really aligned though. When I need something, when I'm really in need, like if I need the answer, I need clarity, I stop eating. I hate to, like, I know this sound weird to people when they hear this, but it take, it take about that 40 to really reset who you are as a person. That, 20, so, that 21, that 21 going to be a complete like reset. But then once you get in that 40, man, close to them 30, that's when things get weird. So I was doing in I a did, good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing. I did twenty one. I was eating like nuts and peanuts, like kind of like paleo, like Jesus died. They call it. Is that cool? You see, he said Jesus died. They call it. How his mentor told him to do it in Christ. It's sad that he's not. He's not defending the gospel. He's not defending Christ. You know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. But you hear what Kevin Gates said? It's a reset. Reset on what? What? It's crazy people how they how people create their own religion or they'll take from the Bible and pervert it. Oh, but Jesus fasted for 40 days, so it means we, we can fast for 40 days too. Oh, he really meant this. No. I remember when I was in witchcraft and new age, they used to say the same thing. Oh, um, Mary Magdalene got seven demons casted out of her. That's that's the seven chakras. No, it's not. It was seven demons. The devil takes everything and tries to pervert it so that people do not know the truth. And that is what Kevin Gates is doing. Let's keep watching. What's your, what's your okay. suggestion on yeah, somebody? It's like, what's your suggestion on somebody that's, that's never done it before? Like, like starting off. Starting off, like, what would you suggest? The slower you go, the further you get. The slower you go, the further you get. If you're going to do two or three days, mm -hmm. then one day work your day to six days, work your way just, you know, going slow. Right. I ain't just go straight to the 40. Right. I did like three. Sure. I was like, yeah, that's cool. Then I started doing like seven. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's cool. Did 20 some days one time. I'm like, man, I'm about to go that whole 40. I know I could do it. Right. And I had weak moments, but yeah. that's where prayer come in. That's when I tap into my spirit. Sure. I don't know why people want you to think that the spirit, uh, Holy Spirit, comes into your, your spirit is already holy. Right. Out of five billion sperms, you was the one that made it. I heard degree. Your spirit is already holy? No, it's not. Before I came to Christ, my spirit was not holy, bro. Before I came to Christ, I was looking for the I was looking for the Holy Spirit. When I received the Holy Spirit, that's when everything shifted in my life. That's when the desires of my heart changed. That's when I, I gave up the alcohol. I gave up the porn. I gave up the fornication. These are the things that he doesn't give up. If he's so spiritually gurued out, if he's so spiritually mature, why does he still go to the alcohol? Why does he still go to the marijuana? Why is he still in all these fornica uh, fornication? You know, he's... He's literally agreed to incest on camera that he sleeps with. He'll sleep with his cousin. He agrees to demonic things. We're going to watch another video after this that proves that the man is operating in a, in a demonic spirit. It's sad, man. We got to pray for Kevin Gates. He has influence. He has a platform and he's leading people to the dark side. Now, if you're an unsaved teenager, let's say 19, and you see this and you like Kevin, get Kevin Gates music, now you're going to stop, start tapping into some spiritual things that are going to lead you astray. That's why I'm making this video. I hope that he repents, but at the end of the day, I hope that other people that might be confused watch the video so they don't fall into that trap. You need to be protected by Jesus. You need to be praying in the Holy Ghost. You need to be praying in the Spirit. You need to be communing with the Holy Spirit. Your spirit is not made holy until you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. You repent. You believe he rose from the dead. You put your faith in Christ. You got to surrender to Jesus before your spirit man's made perfect, which is holy. And it's crazy how the man won't 
believe in the true Holy Spirit, which is blasphemy to the Holy Spirit, but then believes in Alhamdulillah, whatever they said, believes in Islam. Before I came to Christ, I knew there were spiritual things. I wasn't made perfect yet. I still was dealing with things. I needed more help. I needed to find Jesus, but I knew that there were spiritual things happening. I knew from the witchcraft. So when I walked into a Muslim mosque and they looked at me like I was crazy and said they didn't deal with that voodoo stuff, they didn't have it, they, they, they actually shunned it when they were so busy on bowing down five times a day and praying to a God that you cannot hear, literally, you can't hear your Allah. You ask a Muslim, do you hear from Allah? Nope. They're praying to a God they don't know. They don't have any relationship with that God. It is an antichrist religion. It's false. It's deceptive. It leads you to hell. But how is this man super spiritual but believes in Islam, which is like the least spiritual out of all of them? It is literally like marked as the most religious religion. That and Judaism, like they're literally in under works. Watch this video. You say, hey, fast forward to the future if I was 86 years old. Well, this is going to sound very, very crazy. I'm already like 3,000 years old right now. I just tell people I'm 33 because I don't age. Like 3,000. I know that's going to sound weird, but... Y'all heard what he just said. He's 3,000 years old. He probably believes in reincarnation. Bro, it's like, it's crazy how... Listen, listen to this. I don't age. I'm immortal. There's nothing new under the sun. <laughs> This man quoted from the Bible, takes from the Bible to say there's nothing new under the sun. It's so crazy how the same people who don't believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ are the ones who take from the Bible. So what? You think everything's good except for the most important part that saves you, just like Islam. They took from the Bible a whole bunch of truth. It's truth. It's real. A lot of truth about the Old Testament, even some of the New Testament, even some of the things Jesus did, being born of a virgin, all that. But they don't believe in the most important thing which is the good news of Jesus Christ. They don't believe that he died on the cross, that his blood was shed to wash away our sins, that he was buried and rose again. They don't believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. They don't believe in his blood, and they don't, they don't believe in repentance, turning away to receive Christ so you can be forgiven. They don't know if they're going to heaven. The most religious ones be the main ones talking about Christianity's religion. Man, you see how the devil makes good look bad and bad look good? Let's finish it to the end. My mother had sex with an angel, was born in a mortal, and ain't even know it. My mother had sex with an angel, and I was born immortal and didn't even know it man he's confused bro you can see it in his eyes he really believes this i remember i went to a witch this is out i'm um, in fort lauderdale i remember i went to this psychic and i remember i walked in and she had a painting of jesus on the wall and it was right when he was um being judged by by pontius pilate and i went to the psychic i said are you christian she was like of course i go to church on sundays i was like well but when i came to christ i realized the nicolaitans like in the bible if you read the book of revelation they were mixing witch witchcraft with christianity she's not born again if she was born again she would have fled from all the idolatry and witchcraft. Anyways, she read my cards, me and um, actually my wife now, who was my girl at the time. And I remember she told me, you've had three lives. You were once an Egyptian prince. You were a woman in Greece who was pregnant and died in a car accident. And you were an Indian, a, a Cherokee Indian leader. Like, bro, I was like, what? Now that I came to Christ, I was like, bro, that was so dumb. Like, no, I was not reincarnated from those people because where does it begin? How does it start? I always tell people that believe in reincarnation. Okay, you believe in reincarnation. Then what makes you come back as what? Oh, good and bad karma. So who defines good and bad karma? So if you believe smoking weed is wrong and I believe it's right and we both smoke weed, who gets the karma? It's based on yourself. It's based on your own laws. Okay, well, I know people who think raping children is wrong and killing babies are wrong. I believe abortion's wrong. You see what I'm saying? So who gets the karma? It doesn't make any sense. It's idiotic. There has to be a creator and there has to be one highest power. And that's Jesus. He's the highest power. And we got to follow his commandments if we love him. That's crazy. Look, we got to pray for Kevin Gates. I want all of you to say a prayer for Kevin Gates. I believe if we get a hundred prayers up to the throne room of grace, God will start moving in his life if he hasn't already. Man, pray that Kevin G Gates, the blinders will be taken off his eyes, that he'd have an encounter with Jesus and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Man, if God could save me, he could save Kevin Gates too. The man got a platform. He has influence. He's leading people astray and he doesn't even know it. No rappers nowadays days in the, in the secular industry can make it unless they do talk about evil and that's why a lot of them end up getting out or end up regretting it like you guys seen nba young boy right this man nba young boy y'all saw the video he realized that what he was putting in people's ears especially kids and he he felt so convicted and he got convicted by a mormon church i believe imagine when he gets filled with the holy ghost man god is good bro y'all say a prayer and comment down below what you feel about this man make sure to like the video make sure to uh, comment subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon for notifications god bless you. See y'all soon.